What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Eagle Express welcomes you. I welcome you. This is where we talk about all things expediting. Plus we get to enjoy the nature, make the money, and kind of give you some guidance about how to do things, what to do, you know, so on and so forth. If you're new, you know, and you like the content, please like and subscribe. If you don't like it, you don't have to. But you know, if you're just watching but not subscribed, it would help out the channel, helps it grow, helps create, you know, more, basically brings more new people when there's comments in there. It's the whole YouTube algorithm. It's hard to explain. I don't even know it myself 100%, but anyways, the more subscribers, the more people comment and write things, the easier it is to get activity on the channel from you know from new new watchers so please do so today i'm heading to big sky montana um before we got this big sky we got a load again from billings to Olson, montana which i would pick up tomorrow morning and then deliver it the night delivered direct it was supposed to be two stops then all of a sudden this other load came out it was it came out early in the morning i bid it but i didn't win it then it came out again so we bid it again and then we got the other load so i'm already going to be going over there anyways now all of a sudden we got another load that's like a 44 mile run but i'm i'm super close i'm cutting it close i'm like i don't know what my gps is going to be saying now at first it was showing me a 30 minute delay to pick up because right now Montana has got insane, insane, insane amount of road construction. It's just, it's just crazy how much road construction there is. And these bikers don't help. It's 75, this guy's doing not even 70. I could be doing 80 miles an hour right now. This guy's just, you know, <coughs> bless me. <coughs> I might have to cut that out if I don't forget. Woo. Anyways, I'm in super. I'm in a super hurry. I'm gonna be driving 80 miles an hour. That's what I gotta do to make it to pick up. So picking up at a big sky, delivering somewhere else into Bozeman, Montana. And I don't know. They said they put notes in there that there might not be anybody at delivery. So I might just have to. There's some kind of a code if nobody's there to leave it, take pictures, send it to the broker. I haven't even looked at all the notes. But we'll get it done. I want to get it done. Beautiful weather in Montana. Not smoky here anymore. It was smoky a few days ago at our place, but... It's looking good so far. Let's get to pickup. Let's get it done. Let's make that money. Um, <laughs> and then, so basically when we got this this other cherry on top load that pays, you know, good to get there because, you know, Bozeman, uh, Billings is like 550 miles deadhead for me. And then this other load, they were trying to get 400 bucks out of it. We were like, well, we got deadhead. You know, we can't do it for that cheap. We tried 1100 on it. They wouldn't budge. So we, once, since we already had the other load for tomorrow pickup out of Billings, we decided to, you know, do it for 600 bucks. So they just, they're paying $600 on a 45 mile run, but it's 400 and, no, it's around 400 miles to, to pick up dead head. So either way, I mean, it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna turn into what a buck a mile or something like that, which is which is all right. It's not bad. It pays for me to get there, and then tomorrow uh, it was supposed to be two 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 deliveries, but then broker changed it to one because the customer is gonna be in Arizona, so we had to knock the price down because it was one delivery instead of two. So we knocked it down a bit, and good thing that this load helps still, but either way, we're still doing good. We're still doing good. 
I mean, for this kind of stuff, you got to charge because it's a one-way trip. We do lose one day today just to get to pick up. Then tomorrow, you know, all day as well to get it delivered and then back home because there's no other load out of there. So it has to pay. Montana always pays and it has to pay. I mean, it doesn't always pay, but we don't go if it doesn't pay. I mean, within two days, within two days like this, I could clear, you know, I could get to, I could get to Cleveland, Ohio, you know what I mean, and make money. Versus if you're, you know, not doing it, not charging. Anyways, you guys get the point. You guys see the white spot on the mountain, the M? I actually hiked that thing like two years ago. All the way from the bottom, you hike it all the way up to the M. And it was summertime, it was hot. No cell service out here, but it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Highway 191 on the way to Yellowstone from Bozeman. Look at this, look at the river here. Such clear water, beautiful mountains. The dirtiest windshield you guys have ever seen probably. Yeah. Anyway, I called my contact. She thought it was a couch. Then she was going to check something. And I didn't know what I was picking up. So I spoke to her. She said she would call me back to find out what it is and where it is. And now I'm out of service. So even if she tries to call me, she's not going to reach me. But it's okay. I'll still get there and I'll pick up what needs to be picked up. Hopefully it's going to be there. Or hopefully she'll be there. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Um, lots of, as you guys can see, lots and lots and lots and lots of people doing all kinds of recreational things. 80 degrees outside. We are up in the mountains already. Look at the, look at the river. Look at the beautiful views. And this guy's not in any hurry. He's doing like 40s around the corners and then maybe gets up to like 60, sometimes 65 already past maybe a relative of his or hers. But because of all the traffic, oncoming traffic, I can't pass this. Can't pass this slow driver. I mean, what are they in a hurry for? They're out here to, you know, sightsee and do things and whatnot they're not in any hurry to go pick something up and deliver something like me understandable turn left oh jeez awesome 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 views here i know on camera this is not going to look like anything that mountain right there i can already see the lifts everything else i mean this is i guess the place to be in the winter time it looks like if it looks this amazing on the Big Sky Resort Road, then turn right to stay on Big Sky Resort Road. If it looks this awesome in the summertime, imagine how awesome it looks in the wintertime out here. But I wouldn't even want to be out here in the winter. Yeah, this is cool. Turn right to stay on Big Sky Resort Road. So from what I see so far, it's a cool place to be for the winter time. Look at these mountains. Look at the mountains up there. Mountains everywhere. You guys saw what it looks like from up above. I'm sure in the winter time it looks 100 times better. Got loaded with 15 of these boxes. Should have been 17, but it took like an hour to get it figured out and get the okay from everybody to leave with 15 pieces. So I am leaving with 15 pieces. That's all it is. Supposedly this is a couch in a box. That's what this is. That's what this stuff is. So, couch in a box, peeps. They put this couch together. Take it out of the boxes and put it in, put it together. All right, let's get going. Gotta get to my delivery ASAP.
Look at the GPS. Look at all the little roads and everything out here. This is what's on the GPS. What about all the stuff that's not on the GPS? Everywhere else in Montana, it is 90, 95 degrees. It's the last week. Or what is, what is the date today? Let me look. The 23rd of August. So, I guess this is where their swimming happens. I don't think anybody swims in that. Maybe they just do some kayaking or whatever. I would imagine that's what they do here. Okay, I'm going to stop over here and figure out where I actually need to go. Put my address in the GPS and then get out of here. But yeah, you guys get the idea. You see what's going on? It's a big, 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 big resort out here. Big Sky Montana is what it's called. And this is called the Big Sky Resort. We only got one life to live so they can wait with my delivery for a few minutes longer I wanted to show you guys I'm in the water I got my feet wet super clear the air and the smell is just I know I live in the country you guys know but this out here there's nothing like it there is a lot of road traffic here and all that but besides all that this is nice look at Look at, look at the mountains, look at the rocks. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at everything. <coughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So I've been standing here for, I don't know, about three minutes now in the water. I mean, it's doable. It's not ice cold, but it's definitely colder. Definitely colder than like a lake. But I'm surprised. I thought it would be ice cold and, and so on and so forth the whole time. But it's not. Not bad at all. If you guys want to see Big Sky Montana or Yellowstone or whatever. This is Highway 191 from Bozeman. And you just go. And you'll get here. Beautiful drive. It gets even better. This part of the drive is awesome as well. It's It's got really cool streams like this. Mountains, rocky. You get to see all kinds of wildlife as well. I haven't seen anything yet today, and thank God. And, you know, seeing is one thing, but meeting is another thing. You know, I've got a relative who's been on the national news who had a cougar encounter. So, that's the last thing I want, is a cougar encounter. Anyways, let's put these back on and head over to the van and get going to my delivery so we can make that part happen. I don't know how much carrying I still have to do today or how far that's all going to go, but I got my dolly with me and my hand truck is there, so we'll get it done. Now it's time to travel through here. This is the way I came, came down. A bit treacherous, isn't it? Going up is easier than going down, actually. I'm surprised. This is it. People driving, having fun. You know, we're driving, having fun too. And making money. Beautiful. A lot of fishermen. Everybody's fly fishing right now. I don't know. I'm not a fly fisherman. If you guys are, write it in the comments, please. If this is the time for it. This is... Uh, August 23rd, I'm in Montana, so you let me know what they're fishing for and if it's the season and what the season is to fish for because, I don't know, maybe I should get into fly fishing. 
I make it out here a lot, so in all these streams throughout Montana, I don't see why I could do what I could do wrong. I mean, I could learn at least. You know what I mean? All right. Get back on the road, get on get on with our trucking. from the mountains into the valley and here's what the weather is it's all sunshine here um, 82 degrees the people that I do see outside they're all in shorts and t-shirts so on and so forth the regular 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 you know summer clothing versus over there in the mountains they're a little bit more heavier dressed I guess they're you know expecting coldness over there or who knows how cold it is over there if it's 69 right now and it's only what 7 p.m i'm sure it gets a lot colder look at the views over there ah, on camera it doesn't even it's only 10 percent of what i see in my with my naked eye on camera you can't even it's not the same anyways it just sucks i try to you know bring you guys everything that's out here try to show you the best parts and you know when i look and look with my eye and look through the camera lens what you guys see it's not even close i'm sorry <laughs> anyway they got 3.9 miles left and then we're on site i have no idea where this is going um in my notes it says that you know there's a if there's nobody there there's a a door code and just leave it and just send the picture to the broker so I really have no clue where it's all how this delivery is gonna go but we'll get it done we always get it done no matter what I've done some weird deliveries but this is the weirdest one I've ever seen I think I'll show you guys what I mean here I'm gonna back up I finally found where this is going it's just an apartment complex but i'll show you what's weird about it this is weird broker himself said this is this looks like some kind of a trap house you know maybe it does maybe it doesn't i don't know but i'll show you guys real quick i guess he was told it's some kind of a i'll close the door because he was told it's some kind of storage storage facility this is not a storage facility this is just an apartment look at this it's got crap all over here where's the kitchen in this place like i see bedroom i see where do i put this stuff is this the kitchen i don't know that might be the bathroom but there's not even a kitchen in here this is so weird Yeah, there's no kitchen inside of here. I don't know. This is weird. Bizarre. Anyways, I'm going to unload and get out of here before it gets even weirder. Nice office chairs. i got to give me some of those. wonder how much these are. I do a lot of unique deliveries and I do a lot of things that other people don't do but this thing I never delivered to an apartment that's unlivable <coughs> or that nobody lives in no kitchen and they just use it for storage is what it looks like a little weird a little weird because I even called the lady that was shipping this stuff the contact that was 
at this resort and she doesn't know anything. I'm like, is this going into some kind of an apartment? She's like, I don't know. I have no idea. Call James. Who's James? I don't know who James is. I don't have any other numbers. I told her her number is the only one I have. Anyways, long story short, it's delivered. It's a weird one, but we'll put it in the books and we'll see if something else like this comes up. I mean, it's a unique delivery, so I'll have something to talk about. But for now, I'm out of here. I got to get to Billings from here. I don't even know how far it is. It's not too far. Bozeman and Billings. So anyways, I got a little bit of a drive still. Maybe 50 miles, maybe under. Maybe a little more. I don't know. <laughs> Hard to keep track of all the cities and, and know everything all over the place since, you know, you're in my line of work. <clears throat> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. God bless. Take care. And we'll see each other on the next one. Take care. I'll show you guys one last thing. I'm not going to show Broker's phone number. I'll block it. But you guys can read this message. He says, so I figured out what this place is. They run a local family homelessness charity out of there in Montana. This must be an off-site storage place for them. That explains the disarray and random crap. Pretty awesome. Thanks for your help. So, yeah, there you go. I guess it's for, uh, you know, homeless families. They, you know, collect things that people donate for them and then, you know, give it away. Kind of cool to be a part of that. Cool beans, you know. At the end of the day, and it is the end of the day, I made money. Broker made money. And whoever the donator was and whoever paid for all this, they lost a bunch of money, but it go it goes to a it goes to a good cause. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, I mean it's a good thing that, that today happened, honestly. I'm glad. I'm glad that's you know some homeless families, actual families, you know, with children and whatnot if things if bad things happen to somebody in their families with kids you know husbands wives kids it's a good thing they do this so good to be a part of it now it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside as well <laughs>